Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to my car and another edition of Emmy in the drive through Today, I'm going to be doing a big chicken sandwich comparison taste test. I'm going to be tasting Chick-fil-A and Popeye's new chicken sandwich. Now, this has kind of taken over the chicken sandwich internet. <laughs> this battle between Chick-fil-A's original sandwich and Popeye's new chicken sandwich. And today I'm going to do my own chicken sandwich taste test to see which chicken sandwich reigns supreme. I'm going to be tasting Chick-fil-A's first. I just went through the drive through and I ordered a, a number one meal, which is the original Chick-fil-A sandwich. And I got some medium fries and their lemonade. It was $7.85 and with tax it was $8.40. So not exactly an inexpensive meal for a chicken sandwich and fries, at least for fast food in my book. I do have to give credit to the person that took my order. Absolutely great service, very friendly, very patient. And at the end she said it was my pleasure. It was really nice. I feel like this day and age we don't really get a lot of good service and I really appreciate when I do. So I have to give them props for that. So if you ever do this, use your bag as a placemat, I do. So here's the sandwich in this little bag here, nice and hot. And here's the sandwich. So here is the chicken sandwich. It consists of two regular buns, the fried chicken, and one slice of pickle. Very simple sandwich. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and give the sandwich a taste. Itadakimasu! Mm. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in a long time and it's delicious. Immediately I can tell that the chicken was well cooked and juicy. It's a piece of chicken breast. So they must have brined the chicken breast I imagine or tenderized it somehow because when you bite it you get this immediate kind of squish and juiciness which is really tricky for chicken breast because there's not a lot of fat in it but very juicy and tasty very well seasoned you can taste the kind of saltiness all the way through the chicken, but it's not overly seasoned. Lots of black pepper in there. Nice kind of crispness on the outside, squishy bun. Let me move the pickle a little bit forward and get pickle in that bite. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, I am not a huge pickle fan, but I feel like it's essential in this sandwich. One slice of pickle really does it for me. It adds a nice brininess, a nice little dilly kind of pick you up goes really well with fried chicken that kind of acidity and that deep fried coating perfect pairing kind of cuts a little bit of the heaviness of the fried chicken this is a delicious sandwich i don't think it needs chick-fil-a sauce at all but i'm going to go ahead and try it since they give it to you so i'm going to smear some sauce using my waffle fry actually i should eat my paintbrush wow that sauce is a lot smokier than I remember it being. When you look at it, it looks almost more like nacho cheese sauce, but it doesn't taste like nacho cheese whatsoever. It's more like a combination of barbecue and mayonnaise. It's creamy, but smoky and a little bit sweet. Very much like a barbecue sauce. Wow. Waffle fries? Okay. A decent potato flavor. I like that you can see the potato skins. Hmm. A little bit different texture than just a regular french fry just because of the surface area and the kind of mouth feels a little bit different it's just more substantial it's more like a steak cut fry not as crisp as i like it i like how the waffle fries look visually mm -hmm. but as a french fry like experience it's a little bit too much for me just too big just too much of fry going on i like it a little bit less substantial texturally and i think just also physically as well but still nice to have a deep fried potato thing with your sandwich okay so now let's close this up and taste our chicken sandwich with the sauce 
Mm. And that's, <clears throat> let me take this to the lemonade. I like having the lemonade option instead of having a soda. You're still consuming the same amount of sugar, but it's a nice way to kind of mix things up a bit. In terms of flavor, it tastes like country time lemonade with some pulp floating on top. So as far as the addition of the Chick-fil-A sauce on here, it works. That smoky kind of sweet mayonnaise barbecue sauce works in here. I don't think it really needs it. I think in fact it takes a little bit away from just the flavors of the fried chicken itself. I really don't think it needs it. I think it's a nice accompaniment with the waffle fries to kind of dip into it. But on the sandwich itself I actually prefer it without it because I feel like you can taste the chicken better and the pickle better as well. It just kind of mask things. But yeah. There you have it. That is the Chick-fil-A number one original sandwich meal. Now let's head over to Popeye's and compare their chicken sandwich to this one. Alrighty, see you in a bit. <laughs> Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. I am outside. I was gonna shoot inside the mall, but of course there's copywritten music. So I'm doing my Popeye's taste test outside. So this is the new Popeye's chicken sandwich. I got the number nine meal, which includes the sandwich, fries, and a drink and they too have lemonade so I ordered a lemonade as well let me give that a sip first okay I'm glad I ordered lemonade to lemonade this definitely tastes like country time lemonade it gives you that little bit of burning in the back of your throat totally artificial lemonade no pulp whatsoever kind of good in its own right it gives a kind of citric acid puckery flavor not a lot of natural flavoring there hmm. But reminds me of like summer school and camp, right? <laughs> the prices are pretty comparable. The subtotal was $7.49 with tax, so it's $8.09. So both these meals cost about the same price, around $8. Alrighty, so let's open up the sandwich and see what this is all about. So I had remarked on the customer service that I got at Chick-fil-A, which was really great when I went through the drive-thru. Popeyes, I didn't go through the drive-thru, I just talked with a real person. And the surface wasn't so great. It's sort of just typical of fast food, right? Can I take your order? Thanks. And that's it. Just thought I'd do a little comparison since I mentioned it in my Chick-fil-A review. So, their sandwich also comes in a bag. Ooh, my fries are kind of a mess. And they're mushed at the bottom of my bag. And these look like they're seasoned fries. And I got the classic. I usually like to opt for the spicy, but since we're just doing a side-by-side -side comparison, I thought I'd do original versus original. So let's get the sandwich out. Ooh, nice and toasty hot. I have to say, I like the insulated bag thing. It keeps your sandwich nice and warm. Both places have that. So here's the sandwich. I like the little wax paper diaper it's got going on. Very reminiscent of California style hamburgers. Keeps things nice and tidy. Here's the sandwich itself. I would say maybe slightly larger than Chick-fil-A. The bun is different. It looks more like a brioche bun. It has more of a yellow cast to it. Shiny on the outside. And ooh, here's the chicken on the inside. Heavy, generous slather of mayo. There is the chicken. Right away I can see that the breading on this is much thicker than the Chick-fil-A. Looks more like a piece of fried chicken. And then we've got two pickle slices and these pickles look thicker cut and look a little bit bigger as well. But pretty much the same combination here of just chicken, pickle, bread. In this case we have mayo. I am impressed with that breading. That is looking phenomenal. It's gonna be a big bite. Here we go. Eat the lucky mouse. That was a big bite of sandwich. Right off the bat, I love the textures that are going on here. Because this is more heavily breaded, you get a really great crispy slightly greasy bite it's fried chicken between bread well, this sandwich is equally juicy the chicken i think is also brined so it's just juicy and succulent and thicker this is a fatter piece of chicken now let me take another bite and get the pickle bite in there as well here we go ah 
Mm. <laughs> Pickles and fried chicken is just a lovely combination. Again, you get that big burst of briny dilliness that really cuts the fatness and the greasiness of the fried chicken. And you get a crunch. Now the crunch of the pickle is bigger in this sandwich because the slice of the pickle slice is a little bit thicker. But you still get that really great dilly bite. I don't know if you can see that. The chicken is thicker and fatter in this sandwich as well. It's much more like fried chicken in a sandwich rather than being a chicken cutlet or a chicken patty or even a chick filet. <laughs> It's a kind of different style or a little slightly different take on the chicken sandwich because the chicken is so substantial. I like it. It's very flavorful. It's well seasoned. The chicken is tender and juicy. This is also a piece of chicken breast and it remains juicy and succulent as well. So the mayo really adds something to this too. Kind of glues everything together, adds another layer of savoriness, kind of softens the bun. It does make it feel a little bit heavier but it doesn't certainly take anything away from the sandwich. Alrighty, now let's try our fries. Mmm. Oh yeah. These fries are delicious. Now, this does give you that fry sensation, that satisfaction of having a fry with a burger or a sandwich. These are seasoned and they're tasty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like those. A little bit of black pepper, nice bit of seasoning. It doesn't need any ketchup or anything whatsoever with it. Just great as they are. Mm -hmm. Certainly a different style of french fry. These are seasoned fries. They're not just regular fries. So there's less of an intense potato flavor and more of a seasoning on there. So if that's what you're in the mood for, then this will fit the bill. So if we compare buns, the bun at Chick-fil-A was more of a typical hamburger, white bread, bun. Well, this one is yellow and more of a style of, say, like a Martin's roll, a potato roll. It's still in the vein of white bread. So, now that I've had both sandwiches, what one do I like more? Well, I think I have to say I like Popeye's more. Both pieces of fried chicken were excellent, but I like the added crunch of Popeye's, that bigger, crunchy, more fried chicken coating on the outside texturally really worked for me and also flavor wise too although the size of chick-fil-a is more suited for me this is a little bit too large and i am a one pickle slice person rather than two pickle slices but that's easy enough to just take one pickle slice out as far as fries i like the seasoned fries more than the waffle fries mm -hmm. they don't even need any dipping sauce or anything great as they are as far as lemonade goes i like chick-fil-a's lemonade better I like that little bit of pulp. I like the more natural tasting flavor of their lemonade rather than this, but icy cold. Still not bad. Alrighty, so there you have it. My thoughts on Chick-fil-A versus Popeye. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are, what your opinions are, because I'm sure you have them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>